Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I've got another episode of Future Fridays, a series where I cover upcoming games that I think are cool. Today we're going to be talking about Radio the Universe, an upcoming Metrovania, so really, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So my opinions in this video will be based off what we were able to see and learn about the game from its current beta. These opinions may be different when the game fully releases, but I'm just basing it off of what we can see for now. Let's start off with what Radio the Universe does best. Atmosphere. The atmosphere of Radio the Universe is simply amazing. It's strange and suffocating, telling of ruin and decay without a single line of dialogue confirming as such. Its enemies are strange robotic beings that are extremely mechanical in nature, giving some feelings of golems guarding a lost temple, while having the arsenal and technology to easily blend into a more futuristic setting. This contrast of ability and decay harkens of something beyond us that has now fallen to ruin, and that atmosphere is simply captivating. The atmosphere isn't just in level design, but also in the simplest of things as well. Be it the menus that tell you to upgrade your weaponry, having strange and distorted text, be it cutscenes that tell fragments of a story, leaving us wanting answers that the game really hasn't had the chance to answer yet, or be it the pacing of rooms equally split amongst puzzles and enemies, that embody the Metroid ideals of bullet dodging and attacking. Switching from the atmosphere to gameplay, the gameplay of Radio of the Universe is very solid. It plays a yellow cloaked figure with weaponry and dodges that allow it to fight back against the ruins of the tower. Combining high mobility and dodges with your careful planning of attacks, the combat is rather engaging, requiring you to stay careful to avoid death. Radio of the Universe also has a unique progression system. As I mentioned earlier, there are menus you can upgrade yourself with using energy. To get this energy, you have to defeat enemies perfectly. What this means is defeating them in a way that their HP hits exactly zero, and doesn't go under it. This adds another element to combat as you have to strategize how to perfectly reduce HP, such that not only does the enemy die, but it does so in a way that gives you a reward, which will have you trying to figure out how much damage each weapon does, and how to combine them in such a way that it all works out. So with great atmosphere, combat, and solid gameplay, we can also sprinkle on the top something I vaguely mentioned earlier, the story and cutscenes. Granted, the game is still in beta at the moment, so the whole story can only be guessed at, but from what we have, it seems truly interesting. The story of a dream that draws people towards this tower, a dream that ends in a whirlpool and causes desire to continue to fall. We can only guess why the dream is happening, but the way it is presented and the lack of answers we get causes a desire to want to learn more and I, for one, simply can't wait until we have the chance to do so. To close out this video, I'd like to display all of the above by showing off the final boss of the beta. This boss perfectly shows the combat, as it is the hardest fight in the beta. It also shows off the atmosphere rather well, as these godlike beings are cold and strange in their existence. And it showcases the lack of answers the story presents, as we truly currently do not know what these gods are in the slightest, and can only really guess as to the meaning of their demise. So this has been Christopher Beast, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're excited for this title as I am. Ciao. Primarily because I think we killed him in the wrong order. This one needs to die, because his attack... First I considered it dodgeable. But honestly that's not accurate. Then you need to die now. Got him. Ow.
Oh, what? I got two. Got him. Got him. Got him. <sighs> when do I think it will come out? I don't know. I don't know. It looks awesome. This game is honestly awesome. 